show what's good everybody welcome to episode four of my sport designing series today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to do camera and how to set up your final grade for your design it's pretty easy pretty simple and also shout out to the guy who suggested this idea to me i'm gonna pop him up on the screen right here and let's get right into the video so first off what are we gonna do is we're gonna basically make sure we are on our top layer our main priority here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna select that folder or layer and we're gonna do Control alt shift e okay after we do that we're gonna name this final just so just to like put it as the final um thing so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we're on that layer and we're gonna press camera off filter once we press camera off filter, we're going to go to basic. And personally, what I like to do is I like to turn up the clarity. I like to turn it up around 33 and I would turn up my texture around 25. I wouldn't boost my texture or clarity up to 70 or 80, it's just way too much. You want to keep it down at this range, like 10 to 30 at least, or 40 probably is the maximum you, you guys can put it at um after we do that i'm gonna up my vibrance up to 56 i love to have a lot of color in my designs um and i i just i just like the saturation here i'm gonna just up the saturation here just by a little bit basically what's the difference between both of these is that the vibrance um picks up all the pixels that haven't been saturated yet so it basically boosts up all of those saturation basically just ups um uh, basically saturates all of the pixels in the image just to give y'all a little disclaimer about that once we do that now we're gonna go to color grading and this is probably the most important part of your design um there's a lot of things that can go into color grading so take your time um usually what i like to do is i like to um, spin around the color wheel here and see what looks good for my design um i'm kind of thinking here um maybe i'm gonna go towards right here like yellow um whenever i'm color grading i like to look at the main colors of my design so basically in this design it's purple and yellow um maybe in your design maybe it's red and blue maybe it's uh orange and blue you know um, basically what I like to do is, is I like to, um, incorporate my color grading with the colors that I have in my design. So I'm gonna put my midtones at yellow and then I'm gonna put my shadows on purple or magenta just so it looks, it, it matches with the design and it matches with the colors. Also with the highlights as well, I'm gonna put that to yellow like that. As you can see, this is looking like a good grade already. Once you do that, I love to go to effects and lower down my vignetting. Uh, the reason why I like to do this is because it kind of makes the middle, the spotlight, it kind of gets rid of, you know, all this blank space and all this white space. And it kind of makes you focus on just this only, just this main subject only. Um, so I really like vignetting a lot. You guys saw that in my how to sport design video So I'm gonna put my vignetting at minus 11 Also, what I like to do as well is I like to go to curves um, Usually I like to go to these red green and blue RGB I would uh, usually I just kind of mess around here. So uh, up through here be probably i won't do anything with this uh, you guys don't have to use all these use what you like what you think looks best probably up that up right there and usually what i like to do with my curve is i usually like to up this point up go towards the middle here just like a right around here and bring it down and then bring it up again just like that and I press OK. As you can see, before and after, I mean, just amazing. 
and that's how you color grade right there now let's get into um, the adjustments so usually what I like to do is I like to go to selective color and I always like to go towards my blacks and up the magenta just like that so I would up it to 25 and this would only work if your design has at least a pinkish or pink or blue or purple uh, or red color so anything that uh, revolves around purple pink red um, all those colors um, I feel like this would look best with so I usually use this whenever I had those color schemes in my design and I always like to boost my vibrance up just a little bit more um, I, I love color so much and then also what I like to do as well as I add, as I is I like to add um, oh my god I stuttered right there um, I like to add a couple more glows so let's add more glows to nine here maybe let's add a few glows here to the purple areas like that and the same thing I'll go with solid color let's go to the yellow here dodge add make sure your flow is at 12 percent uh oh i'm gonna go around the yellows here that sometimes uh don't do it too much as well um because sometimes there might be too much glow. If there's too much glow, you can lower it down just a little bit. I'm going to lower down both of these. Just like that. And then to top it off, I like to end it with sharpen more. Just like that. It gives it more detail. Um, it's definitely a really good um, picture. And basically, guys, there you go. That's how you color grade and use camera in Photoshop. Um, and I'll see you guys in episode five. Peace out. Audio jungle.